So let me see if I just switch on over the perspective here to the battle. There we go. We're just going to be waiting on for the opponents to get ready. Here we go. It's going to be Sophia Deary and Recon versus Blow Deer and Chip from Space. The scores will be going up from each either side, basically, depending on who's Team 1. So Team 1 looks like it's going to be the Wildcats versus the Stationary Boar. Very interesting name indeed. Going to be wondering if they're going to be bullying out these really tricky board tactics right now. In the meantime, we do see Sophia Deary choosing a very owl orient a very flying orientated lineup while recon gonna go for the ground cover with the skunks and the snake there so they're making sure both sides cover each other pretty nicely here shift from space and blow deer neither of them going for the boar it looks like we're gonna see a fox and wolf combination coming out of both of them as well as some siege units coming out for the ferret the falcon and skunk as well here we go it's going to be game number one here at faction frenzy four Welcome to the arena, guys. In the right side of the map, we have Sophia Deary and Recon. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, we have Blow Deer and Chip from Space. Making their way down here at the bottom of the map. I see Chip from Space and Blow Deer have a very interesting starting point. They're starting on the high ground here, and it's only one accessible way here through the water. So they'll have a lot of way to defend their bases here. It's going to be a little bit hard for Sophia and Recon to actually break into the space. In the meantime, over here, both Recon and Sophia are on open ground, so it may be a little bit easier for Re for Blow Deer and Chip to set up. But it also does mean that there's a, a lot of room for Sophia and Recon to work with. And they are, even though that they look very close to each other on the minimap, they're actually very far away. This is what we like to call a U-shaped map, in which you kind of have to go in an arc in order to reach your opponent. So, for the sake of this battle here they may as well just be on opposite sides of the map for all things considered here now there's also a lot of water barrier here it's like a little island peninsula that folds in on itself so there's gonna be a lot of interesting pathways that both sides are gonna have to take in order to make their way into the opponents all right now just gonna be waiting on them to figure out their first move. Actually, it looks like we're going to see our first move right here. Blow Deer and Chip from Space. Going to go for that early lizard aggression. But Recon has already built his own lizards, and so has Sophie. So both of them are here to defend at the ready against Chip and Blow Deer right now. Here we go. The first attack from the squirrels. We're trying to focus down a farm. One farm is going to be taken away as actually Sophia loses a lot of her lizards. But Recon is there for the backup as well from behind, but they are losing a lot of units there. Chip from Space has his units on the high ground there, so they have the vision advantage against Sophia and Recon at the moment. Sophia and Recon do have their reinforcements coming on the way right now. So does Blow Deer, but his have to take a longer route, and it looks like they are going to back off for the time being. Make their way across the water, but they have done at least one farm's worth of damage here. And Recon is going to be behind on the farm count, only on six farms. Compared to the others, eight farms, so they're going to run into some issues here. I'm trying to catch up in terms of economy. And right now, we're going to see Blow Deer. He's going to make his way up to the north side. He's already focused into Falcons as his first tier two units right now. So the force of the Falcons coming in. Actually, we're going to see a little bit of a lizard rush here. Blow Deer going to apply the pressure this time to Sophia Deary on the north side here. See if we take out any farms. One farm going to be taken out, and he's going to immediately run away. Force Recon to try to see if he can reinforce with his own lizards. But nothing's going to be happening for a little bit there. Bloater only loses one lizard in that exchange, so well worth it for him. In the meantime, Sophia Deary just trying to make her way around here. Unfortunately, gonna, not going to find a lot of info to scout. Has to tread through a lot of water in order to find the enemy base. She does eventually find it, but unfortunately, she's going to get killed there. Commander going to have to respawn in about six seconds. In the meantime, she does have a balloon up, so they do have a nice little side advantage thanks to the high ground there. But can their units respond in time? It looks like they're going to go for a very advanced war a mill here, try to take as much territory as they can up against both Sophia and Recon. Really careful how they approach here right now. The balloon are, is going to go off here. Now the lizards trying to make their way in the toad. Get their explosions off and kill all Sophia Deary's lizards here. And now Recon's own units are left behind here and taken out immediately. This balloon is also going to go down here from the high ground. And now Chip is just chipping away at Recon's base. Sophia, Deary, and Recon trying to get their units up here. 
but they don't really have the side advantage. They can't actually shoot upwards. Meanwhile, the Falcons are just tearing into their army right now. It's only two Falcons, but it's just enough for them to do a lot of damage to Recon's units. Recon does have the snake out, but he doesn't get the second snake out of the So he has one snake on the field, trying to poison as much as he can, as quickly as possible. Careful, the snake does go down. Sophia Adiri does have her Falcons out now, and is gonna give chase. So a lot of damage though, done to both Sophia Adiri and Recon. Take a quick look at the graphs here, you can see just the value graph, the difference between the two teams is huge right now. As Sophia and Recon is trying to build up their army once again for the next attack. Which is going to come very soon here. Chip has grabbed that very advanced warrant. So they have a lot of space to work with here right now. Going to even commit to this area by putting down some farm for his economy. Now to be very careful with how they approach here. Spiadari going to gather up her 12 lizards and one falcon. Unfortunately, the falcon warrant also died in that exchange. So an orphan falcon and an orphan snake will be the tier 2 army for the wildcats. In the meantime, Chip from Space has his ferrets on the way, so they are going to definitely have sieging units, which is going to make things a nightmare for Sophia and Deere and Recon if they can't find a way to deal with this army. Lodi are going to get a balloon up as well to just give them some more sight advantage. In the meantime, Sophia Deere has built an expansion up to the north side. Lodi also has his own expansion down to the south over here, building us a lot of economy here. Going to go uncontested. Right now, Sophia Deere is trying to catch up in the economy at the moment with six farms. We are past that five minute point where the first four farms are going to be destroyed. Recon, just trying to fix things up for himself. He's only on four farms and it looks like we're going to see another attack here. Chip has his ferret ready, so he's going to harass the hell out of Recon now, just poking away at the base. And this is the only base Recon has. Recon's got a tier 3 artillery set up, but this this base is taken out. That artillery can't do anything at all. This ferret is just chipping away at the base. Recon luckily does have an expansion to the north side, has a, a did finish building, but this base may as well be done for. They don't have anything to contest this ferret now, and it's gone. Recon only on one farm now, so they have to be very careful with how they approach here. Luckily, they have expansions up to the north side of the map here, which they unfortunately have found here. The lizards are on their way to take this one down. Sophia needs to react. Recon coming this way with his own army here. They are still not going to do much in this battle as the battlefront moves to the north side of the map. Try and take down the Recon's final base. He's also in starvation mode right now, so he needs to find a way to build a farm. It looks like their attention going to be turning both ways. Recon going to be taken out first. And Sophia Deary's expansion now going to be taken out as well. Sophia Deary doesn't actually have much of an army left at all. She doesn't have the food to restock her Falcons or her Lizards. Only three at the moment. Four soon to be coming. But now it's nothing at all for Sophia. No deer and ship are unfortunately for Sophia and Recon. Going to pound their way through. Stationary four will be the first ones to put the point on the board. There we go, just a nice advantage there taken by the stationary boar and just held on to it for a long, long time. Recon and Sophia did have some nice defenses. They were able to get the snake and falcon up, but it just wasn't fast enough. And for that, they unfortunately suffered here from a very unfortunate tempo loss, especially with the way that Blodia and Chip kept harassing them both. Now here we go, it's going to be game number two now, Recon and Sophia. They have to think about how they're going to go about their timings now. They need to make sure they get them just in time to defend off Lodia and Chip's attacks. They might even have to go on the aggression themselves if they want to defend against it. Right now we see Chip and Blodia going to be sticking with the same loadout. Blodia with the artillery, so they do have that long range structure to use. And with the help of the Flying Vision, it's going to help them immensely here. Sophia going to go with another Tier 2 focused deck once again, bringing the ferrets into their party. And Recon going to be bringing out the Wolf. And waiting for that last unit, it is going to be the Balloon. So they have some sight advantage here. Here we go, it's going to be game number 2 now. The Wildcats versus... Stationary Boar. I forgot their name for a second here. In any case, we have the Wildcats here on the left side of the map. Meanwhile... In the east side, we have both Blow Deer and Ship from Space making their way through here in this map. Now, just taking a look at their initial map positions here. Sophia, Deer, and Recon are starting out on this high ground pretty nicely. Sophia, Deer, actually has a lot of advantages to go for here. 
on this high ground recon. Actually, because he's tucked away in his corner so well, he can actually pretty much safely farm up and get his units up in time. They have to be very careful about the southern side expansions here, but it should be pretty safe for them to get their units out in time. And there's a lot of expansion choices for them to go for as long as they can defend it. In the meantime, on the other side of the map here, both Glow Deer and Chip in Space start in the far corner, stranded by the water, but they're really only real way across by this wooden bridge. So this is a good map for Sophia and Recon to actually take advantage of it. They can get their units out in time. And it does look like the 6-7 farm timing. We are going to see our initial units come onto the field to make sure they can stay off any early aggression. Now we haven't seen any motion and against quite yet in the last um, Faction Frenzy. The double mole strategy was a huge, huge issue for a lot of teams, but right now, the new rule in place, only one team, only one player can have moles on each team, so no one gonna go for that mole rush quite for the, for the time being. I think the game set is a little loud. Okay, let me lower the volume down just a little bit just to make sure. Meantime, it looks like just Chip from Space scouting things out for the time being, just trying to figure out what Sophia and Recon are building into. And right now, just tier 1 units at the moment. And Recon, not going to build into the 7th, into the 8th farm. It looks like he might be saving it just in case for starvation. So he's thinking about grabbing an expansion so that he can continue on farming and econing up. He is sitting on 200 food though. So I'm very curious to see what he's actually waiting for. He might actually be like unabashedly just floating the food. In the meantime, Bloodier and Chip from Space have gotten their units on. Bloodier actually going to go for a very early Falcon. Already putting down three unit, three warrens worth of lizards. Now going for that Falcon Warren to just make sure they have that aerial superiority. The Luna is going to go up by recon on the front lines there. And here we go, going to make their way across the map. Bloodier and Chip from Space already going for that aggressive attack once again. Chip grabbing that mill for this aggressive encounter. They sign Recon and Sophia, they have to be a little bit careful. They do a lot of numbers though, going their way. And the Falcon's not up yet for Bloater, so they have a very good chance here to defend. They could actually go for the aggressive attack here. Bloater trying to defend things out. They're going to try to go for the mill taking technique. They have to be very careful. Sophia losing a lot of her lizards in that exchange. The Toads are doing a lot of damage unwittingly to Sophia's army. She be a little bit careful with how she moves around those lizards. She does have the Falcon up and running. Meanwhile, Recon also getting defensive structures up. In the meantime, on the front lines here, trying to stave off any aggression from both Bloodier and Chip from Space. And right now, Bloodier and Chip from Space trying to find an open here. They find the high ground to the north side of the map, but Sophia's already rotating her way up to the north side. And then they go, the Elizabeth Army of Fortune is going to be taken out by the Toads. And now the Falcons are in a bit of a danger here. One Falcon getting taken out from both sides. And now it looks like Bloodier and Chip from Space have to run off right now. Recon has a lot of squirrels, and that's a lot of damage pouring to the enemy units. Bloodier actually loses the Falcon there and has to get the restock Falcon. Who is now coming in for the reinforcements here. Right now, just staring down the barrel of the gun right now. Both Bloodier and Chip from Space haven't really committed to this quite yet. Just using this to gain as much ground as they can. Now putting some warrants on the front line as well. But Skunk now going to come out try to harass as many units as possible. So he has to be a little bit careful with the placement for the lizards as they can be instantly killed by the gas. But they are healing in their own territory so it's pretty safe for them. And they haven't found a way to deal with this machine gun nest in the middle of the map quite yet. In the meantime, so it looks like Sophia is going to go down to the south to grab that expansion. To make sure she gets some farm. As Chip and Bloody are not really paying attention to the south side of the map. Bloody are going to put down the balloon to make sure he gets some extra sight there for his own units. While Sophia also going to add to the reinforcement of the defense there with a lot of machine gun nests. Lots of machine gun nests on the north side of the map here. Just making sure it's hard for Bloody and Chip from space to really approach them at the moment. I'm going to take a quick look at their army value right now. And see that, Blo that Sophia and Recon are actually going up ahead by a lot so far. And Chip, he's actually going to commit to this farm. He's putting down a lot of farm already so far. So they have to make this attack work. They do have a lot of aggression. Now, oh, Blood, they're going to be putting up the artillery. They need to be stop this artillery before it's fully up, or else it's going to cause a lot of damage to their enemy units. But neither Sophia nor Recon have been able to find this out quite yet. They're actually unaware that this is building at the moment. Oh, Blood is going to get a free artillery here for himself, and Sophia and Recon are not careful enough. Oh, this is very dangerous for them. That artillery is almost done building now. And with the balloon sight, the balloon the extra vision, here it comes. The artillery in full effect. Doing a lot of damage. One machine gun that's taken out. 
two machine gun nests taken out. They need to react right now to this, but three machine gun nests. All Sophie's defenses are gone. Luckily, the artillery range. Oh, it is going to hit that tier two war. That falcon war is going to be gone as well. Luckily, her falcons are up. But that's still a lot of damage down. Now, because we're harassing the farms on Recon side, this artillery's huge range is now breaking the defenses that Recon and Sophia have built up. And now they're going to slowly build. Push their way in through the line here. This artillery just doing a lot for them at the moment. And, Art and Recon and Sophia actually don't want to hang around too much. Sophia is actually already retreated to the back lines, and Recon as well behind his own balloons. He is a little careful here. Recon can lose a lot of food if he's not careful, as most of his farm is on this Ford expansion. Doesn't look like either side are going for the attack though. Lodier and Shepherd Space still hanging out on the north side of the map, just waiting for any sort of aggression to come out from the opposing side. They are going to take out the machine gun nest to the north with their giant tier 1 army. Ship with 15 squirrels on the field, soon to be 24 once the reinforcements do come into play. And Ship already going to the third expansion, 8 farms fully put onto it as... Wow, this red and blue army just migrating to the south side. They're actually going for a pincer attack here! Sophia gonna see if she can take out as much as she can with the lizards She's making their way forward to try to take out as many warrants in the meantime Recon going to the front side It looks like Lodi is able to take out the first base for Sophia, but she's not dead quite yet In the meantime, Sophia trying to take out as much as she can on this side of the map Trying to go for the back door In the meantime, Recon gonna do his best to defend on the front lines And they can't find the expansion here Trip trying to attack from the south side to face off against Recon Recon has flying units, so it might be a little bit of an issue The gas also as well is actually tearing into Chip's own units in the meantime, Sophia is doing a lot of damage on the back lines here, but Bloody already making his way. Recon only on one farm right now, so he's so close to starvation. And Sophia taking care of all the bases in the back lines, but Bloody and Chip have already moved their entire bases to the middle of the map here. And Sophia has to be very careful on the way back. Doesn't have a lot of units for them to use at the moment. And Bloody and Chip from Space have been sitting on a lot of farm untouched in the middle of the map here. So even despite their first few bases being taken out, it's not as much of an issue for them. And Recon, he has so little food right now. He needs to go and sell off something. He just has nothing. He sells off Warren to get that 60 food in order to get a will. He's just starving at this point right now. And oh, Bloody and Chip from Space, they're making their way down to the south. They see the enemy here. That tells them to come and destroy that snake. That snake, unfortunately, left out to its own devices here. And now the lizards try to make their way through, but the skunk cast from Chip Skunks are just making it hard for them to approach. And now Sophia's Falcon's gonna be taken out. Recon's in starvation mode right now. No more farms for him. And he is gonna be taken out here on the north side. As Sophia once again left on her own, looks like Bloody and Chip from Space have done in the game, taking another game away from Sophia and Recon. And there it is. Stationary Boar with just aggressive frontline attacks, just pressuring the hell out of Sophia and Recon. And that's gonna win get them their first win. And they will be moving on to the next to the bracket to the next round. There we go. And just, oops, hello. 